Hey everyone, my name's Tom, and this is my first 100% walkthrough, Ratchet and Clank 1. I have my co-commentator commentator here, uh, famous but not real famous, idiot, fucking freak type thing, squeaky voice ball bag. Yay, Matthew. Right, Matthew then, he does very, 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 very gay things. No offence to gay people, but he really is freaky. He will be doing Let's Play type things, and let me tell you straight away, his favourite games are the Harry Potter games. Lucky for you if you like the Harry Potter game, but if not, then, I don't know, maybe you like Ratchet and Clank. I'll be doing other things, including Nintendo games, like my favourite game is Zelda. Uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. I will be doing Final 100 step, walkthroughs the for all of them. Ignition system. I have Thank you started for using recording that. Technology. Uh, yeah, basically. So this is the Ratchet and Clank 100% walkthrough. Cutscene here, I'm going to let you watch it. Talking while the cutscenes run is not right. Anyway, so here we are. First planet is Veldin, Ratchet's home planet. Yeah, Crates are used to gain bolts. Bolts are the currency in this game. You need bolts to buy weapons, uh, info bots, gadgets, you know, things like that. This is Ratchet's home. There's a picture of Captain Quark on the side. Uh, let's talk about all the games that I'll be doing. I will be doing the whole Ratchet and Clank series, the whole Zelda series. I might do a couple of Mario games or anything like that. There's Captain Quark. Some games like that, but I don't know. Probably after I've done the Ratchet and Clank games and the Zelda games, I'll probably do requests for games that people may be stuck on because I don't really know what you may like to do. Matthew will be doing let's plays and things like that. Like I said, he'll be doing Harry Potter. He'll be doing probably I'm not sure on this one. The Monsters in Scare Island game. He says he might do. He might do Oblivion. He does like that game but you'll see he don't like it now but in about well, can interrupt help this help this like it. Oh, on screen now is a help desk message. Please, well, they do. They help you through the game. You can go on to the start menu and options and disable them permanently. Or you can just press triangle when you feel it. Gadget trans on the edge of the horizon. That's all you see on the range 8000. Comic track uh, where you press R1 and circle, which is basically throwing your wrench. It is quite helpful for distance enemies or exploding 
that box shows that you don't want to get hit. That box is nanotech, um, which is used to reheal you if you get hit by a Which I actually do for some reason in this, which is a very unlikely. If you're wondering what we are using to record this, I'm using the Dazzle. Chemical Dazzle thing. It's not mine, it's Matthew's. But pulling a really weird smile me with a basketball in his hand on a laptop looking at drugs. He says yeah. I don't think that's right. No, no, Matty, that's just wrong. Right, as you can see this is our first weapon in the game, it's the bomb wolf. Okay, he's looking at rehab on Wikipedia. Uh, anyway, back to Bomb Wolf. Bomb. It comes with 40 ammo. And the circle uh, it is you can also reappearing use it in during Scratch It Point 2 as one of the weapons that you may be able to get. I'm not going to really say much on that. Kind of like a spoilers thing, even though I'm doing that right now. But, anyway. Uh, there are no really collectibles on this level except Clank. Uh, this is where I get hit twice actually. There's no platinum bolts, no skill points, no anything really. So there's a couple of crates though, or bolts. You'll need bolts in the next uh, planet, which you'll need 1,500 bolts to get the ferocity, which is a flamethrower type. Gun. It's quite good on enemies that are quite fast moving and annoying really. You can just spray with the gun. But here's another cutscene coming up and I'll see you next time. See you in a bit.